Okay, so we're gonna start our first problems off in long division. Now remember in long division, when we were doing this in school, we had a saying, kind of a checklist. Do you remember what that checklist was? Can you think? Something to do with food, fast food, McDonald's, you're right. So, whenever you're doing long division, when you're taking this test, I want you to either write on a scrap piece of paper, in a journal you have at home, but write down your work. If you want to do these with me, do it with me. If you just want to sit and soak it in and then try it with me after, try it with me. If I'm going too fast, pause, right? Go through, check, do we get the same answer? But always use that checklist. Does McDonald's Forgot how to spell for a second. So cheese burgers. Now if you remember, does stands for divide, M stands for multiply, S stands for subtract. C stands for check, B stands for bring down. So if you remember this step, you're gonna have no problem today. Do not panic. Okay, so our first problem, I'm going to divide. I don't even know if this marker, there we go. Seven into um, 3,000. 549. So if you go back to your checklist or you have to think, okay, how many checklists am I going to need? I'm going to need four because I have four numbers inside of my house. So off to the side, I'm going to do D M S C B four times. Now, this may take you a little longer this way, but it will ensure and you will be able to check that you did all the right steps and your math may even be correct because you did the checklist. So how many times can seven go into three? None, right? Because seven's bigger than three. So you're going to put a zero. Now, some of you may continue. We just divided. Now you should multiply. Some of you just may skip that step if you need and move on. Right, if it can't go into three, how many times can go? It can go into 35. Seven times what gives me 35? Okay, I can count by fives. Fives, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Um, so seven times five will get me into 35. So I put the five up top, so I divided. Now I'm going to multiply whatever number I put on top times the outside, 5 times 7, which is 35. Put it underneath. 5 minus 5 is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. Check. So I subtracted. Check. Is 0 less than 7? Yes, we are good. Then you can bring down. Bring down the number next to what you just subtracted. So now we have to divide 7 into 4. Well, how many times can 7 go into 4? zero. So again, I'm going to put a zero up top. Um, zero times seven is zero. So I divided, multiplied. I'm going to subtract. Four minus zero is four. Is four less than seven? Yes, we are good. And then I'm going to bring down my nine all the way to the four. Now we have to now we have to divide. Start from the top again. How many times can seven go into 49 as close as possible without going over? Go through your facts. Seven times seven gives us, so we can go in there seven times. We're gonna multiply seven times seven, which is 49. Subtract, nine minus nine is zero, four minus four is zero. Check, is zero less than seven? Yes, we are good. Is there anything more to bring down? No, so we are done. So 3,549 divided by seven is 507. And there is a division problem with a one digit divisor.